All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just getting things settled, just getting things going right now. We are live in Marincia, Arizona. I think we got the internet's working. I think we got things appropriate. We are six and a half minutes away. Marincia Marching Band just singing the Star Spangled Banner for us. Not too bad down here, Wes. <laughs> nice weather, no wind, which I think is a big deal for the weather. A little wind would have made it a lot colder here tonight. Somebody we need to keep an eye on tonight is number two, Isaac Pacheco. He's their stud. From what I hear, he's all over the field, offensively. They're running back and outside linebacker. Two teams have two common opponents. They both played Santa Cruz. They both played. Benson. They both played Benson and Santa Cruz. Both wins. We beat Benson. Worse than they beat Benson. But we had a one point win over Santa Cruz. They beat him 42 to 16. Also in Eloy. They're both away games. is getting their starting lineup called out right now along with their captains. We're going to take just a second to give a quick thanks to all the people that helped make tonight possible. Hub got us on the road, got us some gas and money. Big thanks to all of our local sponsors that helped make tonight's live stream happen. Big thanks to Daniel Armuth, professional land surveyor, big elk sports fan, Trail Riders Family Restaurant and Bar. Stay open late for those home games. Go to Trail Riders, get you some chips and salsa. Big thanks to Farmers Insurance, Agent Troy Merrill, also another really big sports fan in the Round Valley area. Big thanks to him. Avery's, they got just about everything over there. There's an RV park, there's a convenience store, there's the Avery's barbecue, there's the watering hole. They got it all. Go check it out, Avery's. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching from Goob, send me a message. Let me know. 928-251-0005. We've got Goob serving free drinks tonight if you're watching the game at Goob's. Goob's has got the game on at least four of their TVs, they told me. Let's go turn on the Elks at Goob's Pizza. We're just a few minutes away, ladies and gentlemen. Captains are going to be entering... 52 looks like 62 62 that's uh, Kate Hogle Andrew Cisco we got Hunter Ziegler Case and Wolf Coulter Hogle and you said Andrew Cisco that was the other one they got Isaac Pacheco we also got number five, Mark Royball. Number nine, Tim Casillas, or Tito Casillas, excuse me. Is that number 54, the last one there? Number five, four, Matt Garcia from Rizzi Captains on the field right now as we get ready for some football. Looks like a big boy, number 54. We're going to receive what's like Wes. Superintendent of Vail, 
He drives, he's driven an actor forever. He oh, loves well, it. So I get on Thursday, I had already called Chapman and Tupac. Ground Valley to receive Stephen. Yes. So that will be or only that's LJ Foster back deep in Ground Valley. How about you, Elks fans, on the live stream? Do me a favor really quick. Hit that like button, smash it, hit that share button, let your family know that we got Elks football live here on Facebook. Once again, big thanks to all the local sponsors that helped made this happen tonight. They're scrolling across the bottom. You're going to see them throughout the night. We're going to give them some shout-outs and some love. They help us keep the lights on, as it were. And they keep our cameraman well-fed. That's the most important thing. And he eats a lot. It's true. I think that's basically half the food that we bought was for him this evening. All right, Round Valley deep to receive. Who's our kicker? i got to get the contacts out. Foster. Onside kick, short kick, number eight, Kate Hogel. Kate Hogel's going to snag onto that, get to the ground. No fumble. Missed opportunity for the Wildcats. I think they were wanting to start things off a little crazy like we saw with St. John's. A couple weeks ago, St. John's was able to recover a kickoff, was able to snag it and get six on the board real quick. Not able to happen. Round Valley will start off at their own 45-yard line. You know, they may have been afraid to uh, kick it deep to Foster. I would be a little afraid. It's true. It's very true. A reason to Irigoyen. Irigoyen's going to go up the middle. He's going to keep jamming and jamming in there. He's going to get about four or five yards on the play, second and five. Do that all night. Shorten the game. Keep the clock running. All we need is four a play. That's all you got to do to keep things moving in the right direction. Like I said earlier, we want to keep an eye on number two, Pacheco. He's uh, supposed to play all over the field. We'll see how well we control him on defense. Case and Wolf once again the shotgun adjusted to the left side. He's going to hang on to it. He gets caught up in the backfield. I believe that's 37 on the tackle for Marinci. And 54 was there as well. 54 is Matt Garcia. There is no 37. Not on my roster anyway. They're going to get five. They're going to get three of those five yards back. Third and eight for the Elks. Checo was the other guy they said. Like we got twins out left. Casey takes a quick step, passes up to the left side. Number Foster's 10 got a on step it. on him. LJ nice Foster. Completion. It's going to be 20 to 30 yard reception. Moving the chains first for the Round Valley Elks. First and 10. How about you, Elks? Casey throws a beautiful deep ball. I love when he goes deep. First and ten for the Elks. Case and Wolf once again from the shotgun position here going in the backfield with him. We're on about the 22 yard line, I think. Case and Wolf. You're going. You're going right side. Nice. Did you see him shoot through that? Yeah, nice. We'll, we'll see where they mark the ball. Looks like they're giving him about seven on the play. Looks seven. like he may have lost his footing a little bit, but good, good jump there. Boom. Like, I don't know what hole he found in the middle of all those ten players, but he just shot right through the middle of it. It's going to be about second and second and three. Nice drive here. Start the game. Round Valley fans, throw us some comments. Let us know if our sound level's good. Let us know what's going on. Let us know you're there. Cheer in the comments on Facebook. Let us know you're in the house. Second and three. Case and Wolf from the shotgun. You're going to get Back it. Going. He's driving. You're going to get it. Oh, uh, I thought he was going to get away from it. Nice shift to the left there. Nice move. Nice movement with the ball. Brought down by number 25. Man, I don't have a 25 either. Am I just totally misreading these numbers? I think that's 28. 28, Chris Royball. We got Sharon in the house watching again from Boise, Idaho. Sharon, how you doing? All right, we're going to turn up the audio for you guys. As I understand it, it's a little quiet for you, so I'm going to turn it up. You let us know if that helps you out. 
going to crank it up here just a little bit. All right, Elks fans, let me know if the audio is a little bit better. I'm going to try to talk the same way. Case and Wolf, second, or third and three, rolling out to the right side. Quick pass. Oh, it's up. Going deep. Oh, did he? Oh, knocked away. Nice defensive play there. Incomplete pass. Going to be fourth down. Is this going to? Are we going to see Communes on the field? Yeah. Elks are going to go for a quick three with 8:38 left in the first quarter of play. Looks like that was intended. That pass was intended for Bevel. Now he'll be holding for the kickoff for the about a 31-yard field goal. Splits the uprights. Beautiful kick by Communis. And it feels weird not being able to say it, but ladies and gentlemen, if you're in your house, on your couch, I don't care, on your feet, you scream fight that song. fight song. Elks take an early 3-0 to zero lead. 8.37 left in the first quarter of play here in Marinci, Arizona. I got to get me a quick sound bite of the fight song. And then Facebook will take it down because it's the Notre Dame fight song. So for copyright reasons, ladies and gentlemen, hum the fight, hum the fight song in your homes. Thank you. Camina is hitting from about 50 in pregame warm-ups. And he hit a 50-yarder in the dome. Yeah. Yep. Huge weapon we have this level. Uh, not a lot of 2 A teams have a consistent field goal kicker that can guarantee us points inside the red zone. Camina is going to kick off. First time we'll see the Round Valley kickoff team on the field. I cannot read that red on black deep. I'm not sure what the deep You, you forgot your binocs is. tonight. Well, I've got them, but I don't think it's going to help much. Let's see if I... i got to get my contacts out. My eyeballs are drying out. Reyna is back deep. Long with. We're going to get it on the 16-yard line, number 13 with it. 13 coming back to the middle. 13 still on his feet. Going to get about 30-yard line. Brought down by Cade Hogle. Number 13, Chris Deck, Jr. for the Marincy Wildcats. I have a hard time saying that this just feels a little bit like home. I did live in Marincy for a few years, so I guess it does feel like home. We drove by my house on the way to the football game. All right, Round Valley's defense, first time on the field. Fumble, Here we go. snap, fumbled. Looks like Round Valley Elks are signaling they recovered. Case and Wolf saying it. The referee saying it too. Case and Wolf said it. Refs agree. Round Valley's defense, one and out. Offense coming back on the field right on Marinci's like 32 yard line. Offense is going to pick things back up. See if we can convert on this. Fans that are watching us live, I will do my best to stay on top of the comments. Feel free to shoot us some comments. Let us know what's going on in your neck of the woods. We're glad that you're with us tonight. You can also text me at 928-251-0005. Head on down to Goob's Pizza. Get you some of that free soda with your pizza tonight. If you're watching the game with them, let's go, Elks. Case and Wolf. Wolf on the option. Getting handed off to the right side. You're going with it. You're going brought down. Might be a loss of yard on the play. Yeah, it looks like about a one-yard loss there. Pacheco does cover a lot of ground. He's been on most of their tackles. Elks fans, once again, if you're watching us live with us, hit that share button. Let your family and friends know that we got Round Valley Elks football live. Get on your social medias. Let the people know. Let's get more people cheering on the Elks electronically. All right, Case and Wolf once again from the shotgun, second and 11 for the Elks. One in the backfield with him. Quick pass action, right side. Play action. No, knocked down. Intended receiver Owen Young, number two. Been calling a lot of Owen Young on defense in the last couple games for the Round Valley Elks. Good to see him. He's been playing a little bit of tight end, Coach Bell told me. Um, at the homecoming bonfire, actually. They're trying to move him around, get him some experience. And he's an athlete. You need to get him on the field. Third and 11 here. 
Brown Valley once again from a shotgun with one in the backfield. Cason Wolf's going to take a quick bob and jive. He's going to hang on to his saw on his feet. He's, he's getting through. Oh, hanging on to that shirt. It's going to be about fourth and this seven. 40-yard field goal attempt if we bring Comunez back onto the field. 40-yarder. I've seen him do it before. It's going to be about a, 40, about a 46 yard kick right here. See if Communis can connect. Nice contact. Communis! No. Wide right. Had had distance. Boys and girls, Oaks fans, 650 left in the first quarter of play. Round Valley still leading 3-0 to zero as the ball changes hands. Good hold from Renzi on that possession. We got Cooper Wolf watching his boy Kaysen from the Valley. Cooper, give me a big old howl on the live stream. Use those emojis, fans, that are watching us on the live stream. Round Valley defense back on the field. Marinci under center, going to hand off up the middle. I think he ran into his own man there. Yep. Nice tackle there. 56, it looks like. 36, that's Holiday stopped him. Curtis Elmer, you are correct. We're live streaming at Goobs tonight on four televisions. Lots of seating. Guys, I had their cauliflower pizza last night. Cauliflower keto-friendly pizza. No, no, I couldn't tell the difference. It's a thin crust pizza, and it tasted like pizza crust. Not going to lie. I was pleasantly surprised. They won't tell you how many carbs are in it, though. I was slightly worried. <laughs> I think it's just their thin crust pizza. Yeah. All right. Second and ten. Second and ten. Handoff once again up the middle. He's going to have about the same action. It's going to be about third and nine. Yeah, smash those emojis, Elks fans. Let us know how you're feeling. Hogle, nothing new. Hogle met him in the backfield. Jordan Crick. Good to see you on the live stream, my man. Throw us a comment. Let us know you're watching the game. St. John's holds tough on their first Thatcher possession. St. John's and Thatcher playing tonight. Man, give me some updates on that. Feel free to text me those. Hit them on the Facebook comments. We'll see what I can see. I can't see anything right now. Still got to get my glasses on. <laughs> what? Third and nine. See if they can throw the ball. Intended, intended receiver was the 40-yard line. Yeah, that's what, about it, what it looked like. See, he wasn't no, even close. No, I didn't see. Was there a intended receiver in that pack, though? I would imagine so. Yeah, he threw about four yards over his head. Number nine looked like he was throwing, him, throwing it in. Good coverage, or good blocking, sorry, by the offensive line. He had all the time he needed to make that decision to pass. Round like defense needs to get in there a little bit more. If he had thrown it at the receiver, it would have probably been picked off. Had about three guys surrounding him there. Cynthia, how you doing tonight, Cynthia Anderson? Where are you watching from? Give us a shout-out. Let us know where you're watching the game. Howdy. Howdy, are you at shortstop right now? Got Taylor. Chase punt. Taylor's back deep. Punt is up by the orange cleats. It's going to bounce. Just let it go. Round Valley's own 42-ish yard line. That was Sutterquist deep. It wasn't Jace Taylor. Sorry about that. That was Sutterquist was back deep. Ladies and gentlemen, we are blind. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I get a timeout, I'm going to take my contacts out. We'll try to get a little bit better for you. That black, that red on black is hard to read, though. Harder it, than I thought it would be. It really is. I, I thought it'd be easy, but yeah, unless they're facing us or their backs are to us, it is really hard to pick up those numbers. And we're actually significantly closer than we normally are when we're calling these games. Yep. <laughs> All right, Case and Wolf back. He's got one in the backfield right now. They're a little more scrunched up on the field. Case and Wolf's gonna fumble the ball. We got it. He, he dropped on it. He picked it back up. I think he wanted to give it to Uruguay and then decided not to, and the ball ended up on the ground. It's going to be second about 12. 
you know, it's not raining now, but it's been raining on, off and on all day, so that ball's probably a little bit slick out there. The longer the game goes, the slicker that ball is going to get. Um, that's where you really want your center and your quarterback to have a towel on them. You really appreciate it by the time the second, third quarter roll around. Looks like Foster's out here wide. See if we try to go deep with him again. Kaysen Wolf is going to give it this time. Here going with it. Here going's having a nice night. He's up to about 30 yards rushing. It's going to be about third and seven, I think, once we get it once we get it marked here. No, he's getting a little more than I thought it was. Third and six. Third and six. It looked like he chopped right there as he crossed the line of scrimmage. I think he was trying to make a decision. I think that hesitation might have cost him a few yards. Yep. The other thing I picked up talking coaches this week is Morency doesn't play with safety. They pl a lot of times they play what's called man free. They man up on everybody with no safety deep. Looks like they have one in on this one. Foster. Foster with it. Elks first down. Elks first down. So what's the downside to playing a man free like that? You don't have any money in the back as your last ditch effort, essentially. Yeah. If you get if you get past your man, you're wide open. It's uh, touchdown city. Wow. It puts a lot of ownership on the players themselves because they own that man or they get beat. Mm -hmm. That's six on the board. Brought down by number four, Tanner Hudman, senior for the Marinci Wildcats. As we move the chains, Elks first down. About a 20-yard gain on that little short pass. We are at the 31-yard line, first and 10. Case and Wolf in the, um, in the backfield with Mr. Irgoyen. Mark's going to get it on the right side. Mark's still on his feet. Here he goes. Chop, chop again. Another six yards. Mr. Consistent this evening. Mm-hmm. Chubbs. Chubbs, how's it going, my man? Get on down here and we'll announce some soccer together. Will hablar un poquito de español, si me entiendes. Hey, that reminds me of senior night for soccer this Wednesday. Elks fans, senior night Wednesday. Who are we playing? Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge, senior night, Wednesday at 6 p.m. in the Dome. You're going in. It's not going to get Wolf. it. Case and Wolf. He, he All day. It. All day, every day. Touchdown, Round Valley. Six on the board. Nice pull there. Had everybody going with the, with the give. That was a great read by Case and Wolf. He was going to give it to Aragoyan, who would have gotten his six again, but no. Hangs on to it. Wide open spaces. I heard the, Dixie's ch the Dixie Chicks singing the entire time. Sergio Comuna is back on the field. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Get in tune. We're going to need you for that fight song goodness momentarily. I want to hear you scream it all the way with my noise-canceling headphones on. Still want to hear you. Is that about a 30-yard run there? Yes. No, I, th yeah, I think it was about on the 30-yard line. I have got to find. Actually, about 25 now that I think about it because you got that 5-yard gain before that. Communis is kicking. Communis was blocked. Was blocked. Three minutes left in the first quarter of play. Round by the Elks leading 9-0. to zero. Elks fans in your house, in your jammies. At Goob's Pizza. Curtis Elmer strike that up for the fight song. We have so much stuff up here. Pacheco, no way. Is that our Pacheco? Like the Pacheco that used to live around there? I want that. So there's a Pacheco back to receive, the announcer just said. We had some Pachecos living in the Round Valley area that went to Baghdad for some time working for FMI. I wonder if these Pachecos are former Elks. Somebody in the comments let me know if that's what's going down. No. no. Dang it. <laughs> are you the Pachecos? Man, I miss the Pachecos. They were in my ward. Up about the 25-yard line, going to be first and 10 for the Wildcats. 
Mommy Dearest, Marilee McBride, good to see you on the live stream. How y'all doing with Tommy Merrill jumping on the live stream as well? Hit that share button, Elks fans. If you have not yet, share, smash those emojis, give it a like, give it a share. Tell people you're watching Elks football with Wesley McBride and Stephen Pena with our man Daniel on the camera. Gail, I know it's a struggle. I was a wildcat, and the cheerleaders told me once a wildcat, always a wildcat. So I am slightly convicted myself as well in this game. Uh, Marinci, under center. You don't see as many teams playing under center anymore. Stopped there. Smashing that love button. I Holiday. love it. Holiday. Chaz on stop there. 36 Chaz Holiday had some good game, good running game in our last game in the Dome. Quickly going back to that soccer game, if Round Valley upsets Blue Ridge, Coach Morris and myself are going to have a head, is going to have a uh, hairdo much like yours shortly after. You're that. shaving your head if, if Blue Ridge gets upset at senior night. Yeah. I love it. Chubbs, I'm with Stephen Pena, high school teacher. He helps me spot at the games. Run up the right side. I believe that was number seven with the carry for Marinci. Case and, Case and Wolf on the stop. Shout out to the Stafford Pachecos. Goddard, are you watching Marinci? If you are, hit that share button. We want to get some Wildcat fans watching this live stream as well. This isn't just for the Elks. We are a little partial, though. There is a, there, you know. I am wearing black and gold tonight. It does, it does happen, but I try to keep it in the middle. It's how I announce when I'm in the Dome as well. Try to keep it in the middle. We want it to be fun for everybody. Marinci, third down situation, pitch to the left side. Number two with it. Pacheco. Number He's two is going to get a first down. Bevel on the stop. Pacheco. The yard line. Pacheco getting to midfield. The Wildcats moving the chains. Flag on the play. There's a flag down. This Little. is coming back. Eagle-eyed Daniel Cameraman seeing the flag on the play. We should mic him up. we got another set of headphones. Come on. <laughs> All right, what do we think it is? Is it holding? What do we think it is? Yeah, it looked like holding out there on the outside. I wondered when they, during the play, but that's right where it was, where that wide man was uh, blocking out there on the left. Callie Wolf. Callie Wolf watching her boy Kaysen. Give me a howl in the chat. How? That sounded horrible. That's why I want you to do it, not me. And that's why I have a soundboard. Give me a howl in the chat and hit that share button, ladies and gentlemen, once again. We want to get more and more people watching this goodness. We're live here in Marinci, Arizona. They're spreading all over the field here. Trips right, single man on the left. See if they have more success throwing. Oh, ho! oh he got all those picked there by Wolf. He Bounced into their hands. He sets, he bumps, and we're going to call it a first down. I think they're going to spot it in a first down situation. Wow, bad break for Round Valley. Wolf has gone for six if he holds on to that. Getting some love for Coach Howard in the chat from Marinci. Toby Puzzy, thumbs up to you, ma'am. Thumbs up to you. First and ten for Marinci. 41 seconds left in the first quarter of play here in Marinci, Arizona. A little bit antsy. You see Round Valley's defense wanting it. Give to the He's throw. going to pitch off to the left side with the option. Five. Oh. Brought down. Kaysen Wolf with a shoestring with a little bit of help. Looks like Zig Is that Ziggler over there? Looks like number three. I thought it was 52. Am I missing it wrong? Is that Yellow Horse? Maybe it was Ziggler. Ye Yellow Horse. Well, there were three of them. So probably Yellow Horse and Num is that number 12? That is some cute mini cheerleaders. I'm not going to lie right now. Daniel, hit us with the mini cheerleaders real quick for all the Marinci fans. Check this out. I believe we've got a timeout on the field. Oh, that's the end of the first quarter. End of first quarter of play. Round Valley leading 9-0. to zero. We got the Marinci Wildcat mini cheerleaders doing their thing. Alfonso Lujan watching the game from Denver, Colorado. Who is watching from the farthest away? We've got some Boise, Idaho fans watching. we got Denver, Colorado. What else do we got in the house? 
For all you new people right now, hit that share button, smash it for us, and we get some more people watching the live stream. The more, the merrier. And while we got a second, we got to pay the bills and give a big thanks to Trail Riders Family Restaurant and Bar located in Eager, Arizona. I dig their chips and salsa. I'm not going to lie. Also, Mr. Dan Muth, professional land surveyor and Round Valley Elks fan extraordinaire. He surveyed my family's ranch, actually. So get you some Dan Muth. I don't know who that Wesley McBride guy is, but go get you some Goobs pizza. Get okay, I'm going to tell you the biggest secret right now about Goobs is the Tracy Fries. Stephen, have you ever had the Tracy Fries at Goobs Pizza? I don't think I have. If you've never had the Tracy Fries, you have not lived. Curtis, if you're on this live stream, anybody that can hear me in Goobs Pizza, order some Tracy Fries right now. Now, he makes a pizza with a french fry base. Oh, ho, oh, oh. Runner still on his feet up the that's left side, Pacheco, out of bounds. Pulled out by, that's Hernandez. Number Alex, 12. Alex on the stop there. Mr. Alex Martinez Hernandez. Robert Ray. What's going on, Mr. Robert Ray? Welcome to the live stream. We're controlling the run game pretty well. They've had that one long run, but it is brought back. Marinci started most of the first quarter right up the middle. It was under center, smash, smash, smash football, and it really didn't play for him. So I think they're trying to pitch to the outside, see if they can get something out of it. Little double wing here. Kind of looks like ouch they. Kind of like the chicken wings you can get at Goob's Pizza. See, oh, play we're going to roll to the right action. side. He wanted to hug him. He caught that. Going to be short, though. Completed about fourth and two or three. About fourth and four, fourth and three. All right, let's see if Marinci decides to punt. How conservatively are they going to play in the first half here in Marinci? Have 28 back deep. Looks like they are going to punt. And it's Sutter Cole Sutterquist deep. That first punt. Cole. Coach has pulled a f fast one on me. Wes and Slade, what's going on? Watching from Round Valley, hitting that live stream. We're glad you're with us. Hit that share button right now. Paul Earhart, my boy Paul Earhart, went to school with him, DJed with oh. him. Ball is going to roll, nice unfortunately, roll. to Round Valley's own eight-yard line. Round Valley has 92 yards to make up as we do the thing right now. Mr. Dean Walker. Dean Walker, no thank you for being one of our first responders. My wife... My wife's a nurse and recently became a flight nurse in the last year or so. She's been in a little over a year. And I have a whole new respect for first responders. Honestly, my hat off to you. Any of our first responders, firefighters, police, medical, you guys are number one in my book. Servicemen, first responders, you are the true MVP. Round Valley, 10-29 left in the second quarter of play as they get the ball offensively. Timeout for Round Valley. Is that our first time out of the game? I feel like we haven't had a second to breathe yet. I believe that is. Renzi called one earlier, I think. Daniel Pena, our cameraman right now. Daniel, have you ever eaten at Avery's Barbecue in Spring Rowland once? And what did you get the one time you went to Avery's? Did you get the brisket? Did you get some pulled pork? They have some good corn on the cob. I know that. You know what they have? It's not barbecue, but their Thursday night fish fry. They do a fish fry? I uh, did not know this. Oh, their fried cod on Thursday nights is killer. Okay. You heard it here first. Go yesterday to Avery's and get you the fish fry. I didn't know this was a thing. Paul it, Earhart. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Fish it is up. really, really good from a food expert. Just look at my figure. <laughs> Chris Wilson, I completely agree with you. Like, I, I really enjoy getting to do this side of things, and I feel a little bit like ESPN, just a little bit. I can't make the noise because then Facebook will take it down for copyright. So, round off from the shotgun. We're going to hand off to Aragoyan to the left side. We've got a choo-choo train pushing that up there. It's going to be good for about three, four yards. Again, Aragoyan, Mr. Consistency. Yeah, just closer to five, it looks like they're going to spot him. Four, five, maybe four, maybe four. Take it. I'll take it. Once again, give that big shout-out in the comments, Elks fans. We will pass it on once we see you scream and yell and shout. Paul, good to see that you made it back on a safe flight. Paul and I went to school together. Good guy. I like me some Paul Earhart. 
We we did our first DJ gig together actually with stuff out of his parents' living room. You're going wide right. Nice late block there. Uh -huh. Flag on the play. Got a flag on that. That that surprised me. Is that going to be a little hand in the face mask action? What are we going? What's that going to be? Block in the back on uh, Westbrook. I 66. I don't necessarily agree with that call, but I'm not the one that with hanky in my pocket. So. Pink flags. Well, it is. It's the month. Bre breast cancer awareness. Elks fans, big deal. Next Friday, it's a pink out for the Thatcher game. So wear pink and wear it proud. There's some shirts for sale, I believe. You're going to want to get on that. I've got some super tall socks that I'm going to be wearing and whatever else I can find that's pink. Where do we spot the ball? Looks like we're on the six-yard line, second and about 12 or 13 for the Elks. Let's see what they do to dig themselves out of this situation. I'm a risk taker. I would go deep to Foster right here. Nobody in the middle of the field. I'd go over the top. Kaysen from the shotgun. He's in the end zone rolling. Man, that's a dangerous place to beat. And Hunter Ziegler! Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Grandma, Grandma Ziegler, if you're watching, I was looking down at the stands looking for you. Hunter Ziegler reached out to touch it. He touched it, was unable to bring it in. Nice effort. I thought he was going to snag that. Got holding call. Holding call on Round Valley. Okay, so I heard they declined the penalty, Stephen. Catch yeah. us up. Yeah, they declined penalty, bring up third and 12. Kaysen kept it there. Can bring up fourth and 10. Elk special teams likely coming out onto the field right now. Dangerous position when you're punting from the end zone. Hopefully we can get a nice good roll on this, get it to about midfield. I did just realize as I was talking to my children that I have a background microphone over there, so who knows what the webcam picked up. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? You're getting it raw here in Rurincy. I grew up on Poppy Street, of all places, and I can see my house right now, or at least the house lights from my house. Who do we got back deep to punt? I'm being nostalgic. We have beveled back deep. But he fumbled it. See, that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Safety. That's a safety. Better than a Fumble touchdown. and six, yeah. yeah. That's just... Mm. That... That is a dangerous situation to be in, playing in the end zone. Nico it, Garcia was the one that brought him down. And it bit Round Valley, unfortunately, with 8.36 left in the second quarter of play. Round Valley leading by 7, 9-2. to two. We're here in Marinci. Big thanks to Farmers Insurance, Troy Merrill. Now a new office right by shortstop in Eager, Arizona. Howdy, that would work out well for you. Hit you some shortstop. Go see Mr. Troy Merrill for all things insurance. He will insure just about everything, he told me. So go in, get him a quote. He'll take care of you. He's got a great office staff there in Eager, Arizona, in the old Brown and Brown Law Offices just to the south of Shortstop. Thank you, Farmers Insurance, for helping us get here tonight. So we'll have a free kick from the 20-yard line. We can either kick off, traditional kickoff, they can punt. It's a free kick. I guess they could even do a drop kick if they chose to. You don't see that very much anymore. You see a little more in rugby. Yeah. Why are we on the 20? What? Why are we on the 20? Safety. Safety. Yeah, so that is a good point. Our cameraman asked. We start off on the 20 because it was a safety, so we do a free kick situation from the 20. Looks like we are going to do a normal kickoff situation. And this is Cisco. Andrew Cisco is doing the kickoff. Andrew Cisco. Andrew Cisco is going to get it to about the 35-yard line. Marinci's going to start heading this way, trying to get into the Elks' territory. We're going to break it about midfield, about the 48-yard line on the Elks' side. Ramsey. Ramsey and Kylie Finch, how you doing? Another one of our first responders. Lynn Smith, our daughter and your mom used to cheer for the Round Valley Elks. Yes, she did. And to tell you, um, is this a confession? I've been to more mini cheer camps than anybody, I think, at this stadium right now. 
All right, 39-yard line is where they're going to call. Oh, no, excuse me, 49-yard line. 49-yard line of the Elks. See if our defense can step up. Right at midfield. Again, under center. Pitch to the left side. They're going to try to work that outside angle. Going to get good about one, one yard on the play, second and nine. Yep. So, Stephen, why do we see less and less teams going from under center? When I played, when I was center, it was all under center. I think we did shotgun very like three, four times in my entire high school career. You know, last few years in college, they've gone to this zone read where the quarterback has space. They get it in the shotgun formation. They have the vision of what's up in front of them. And then they make the read, whether they give it or they keep it. And sometimes they'll have a pitch man as well. But it just uh, a lot of in college, they don't do a lot of play calling from the huddle anymore. It's all from the sidelines. So, all right, for under center, we're gonna have it for the right Pass. side. He's got, he's got pressure. some pressure. Defense, Case and Wolf, and your yeah. boy 62. Kate or er, Hogel. That's a Hogel. Coach or Hogel, he's a beast. He lives in the backfield. Man, where's Mimi at? Dustin Shoop. Dustin Shoop, give me a shout-out on the live stream in the comments right now. My boy Justin, Dustin Shoop, Round Valley, made the move to the Gila Valley area, doing his thing here. We love the Shoops. Good family. Thanks for joining us on the live screen. Dustin Shoop, hit that share button if you would for me real quick. Share this video out. We're live here in Marinci. Double wing. I love it when you smash those emojis, ladies and gentlemen. Hit it. Oh, stopped up the middle, Irigoyen, he got through the line quicker than the running back did. He almost got the handoff. Solid Elks defense, did a really nice job. We're going to bring in a fourth down. 24. Fourth, fourth and long, long. Harrington was the unfortunate ball carrier there. Goddard, I played from 98 to 2002 for Round Valley. Got to play in the dome for Coach Dryden. Dustin Shoop. Where's Elamy? Ball's going to head out of bounds. Way out of bounds. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. There's my Round Valley education right there, ladies and gentlemen. I can count to 30. We're going to pick things up on about the 31 yard line. Smash those emojis. And that share button, ladies and gentlemen, hit that share button. We want more and more people watching this baby right now. Case and Wolf from the shotgun as Ravelli picks it up with 625 left in the half. Got his man in motion. He's going to bobble and weave. He's still on his feet, but I think I think we're seeing that earlier rain. Yeah, there's, he slipped as he went to plant to move forward on that. That is one thing that does not happen in the dome. We don't get a lot of rain in the dome. Did years ago. <laughs> Seemed like every year we'd have the round ball tournament. We'd have to, spots. Yeah, we'd have a spot on the basketball court. They got that fixed though a few and, years ago. And that happened when we were playing too. I remember there would be spots that would be slushy, but that was the old turf with the turf monsters. That was nasty stuff. Rockport, Texas. Carol, what you doing? Who you watching, Carol? You watching Marinci or the Elks? Jason Wolf from the shotgun, second and thirteen. Wolf with pressure steps into the pocket. Ball up. Intercepted. Intercepted. Number five on the interception there. Number five, Roybal. Mark Roybal on the interception. Marinci picking up that interception. Round Valley defense to head back out onto the field. And, Stephen, we're right about where we were when they punted. Yeah. Just kind of traded a few minutes. Wait, wasted a minute on the clock, and we're right back where we started. I was a sinner. I played center basically from seventh grade on, if I'm completely honest. I found my niche, enjoyed it, stayed there. Amanda McBride. Might love her a lot, actually, if I'm honest. Thanks for the comment on the live stream. Anna Haney went to school with Anna Haney. Under center. Looks like loose ball. Nope, they bobbled it. We smacking. We're going to take it back about seven yards. It's going to be about second and 17 from Marinci's on 30-yard line. That was Chaz and Hogel on the tackle. So Chaz Holiday and Hogel were there to greet the quarterback. Them Hogels, man, I tell you. They are not big, but they are quick, and they get after the ball. Yes. Yes. 
Dustin Sheep, thanks for the share. We appreciate it. Letting the people know where to get some live Elks football. Thank you to Avery's, to Goobs, and to Trail Riders, our restaurants of choice on the game tonight. Goobs has got the game live. Head down there now. Get your free drink and order some Tracy fries and a cauliflower pizza to balance They're it back. out. Oh. Passes up. Passes to number 13. Unable to bring it down. The receiver stop, was stop and go route, and he had a step. Hernandez stopped on him. He he went past him. Intended receiver, junior, 5'8", 156-pound, Chris Deck. That's some max preps knowledge for you right there. Round Valley, if you're watching this live stream right now, I want to see you blow up the emojis right now. Round Valley was just given a letter grade of A, a grade A school, Round Valley. Amazing work by the staff and students. Principal Morgan killing it there at the school with his great staff. A huge congratulations to all of Round Valley staff as we see them get that letter grade of A. Timeout on the field by Morenci, trying to figure out what to do at third and 14. 4.44 to go in the game. DK, I'm sorry, we're streaming it just to the Facebooks. That's how I've got my, my editing software set up. We're going live to Facebook. Look at that. Look at that love right there, Stephen. That's some love for the grade A for Round Valley High School right there. Look at all that emoji love. That's a pretty big deal. I, I know that Principal Morgan is very happy with the work and the effort that's been put in. I know you talked about really putting it on the students and a lot of, a lot of that effort that came from the students. They gave some extra effort to get to that letter grade. Yeah, we gave them some incentive, and they stepped up. It was awesome. It's good to see it. They're still blowing it up for those hearts. We love our Elks. That's what's going on right now. Timeout, 444 left in the half. Round Valley leading 2-9. to nine. As a teacher, I'm kind of biased. That's but all right. Those students, they stepped up. As an Elk fan, I'm kind of biased too. We gave them free barbecue yesterday, hamburgers, hot dogs. Staff cooked it. Administration cooked it. Students ate it. We got a Pacheco. Oh, oh, he got stuffed there on the outside. Tried to come down on the option. And Chaz Holiday was the first man to greet him. 58 was the next man there. Dustin Finch. So is a quarterback sack. I missed it. He's going to remember that one tomorrow. I'm just telling you, he's going to wake up and say, I know why, where that bruise came from. Once again, Round Valley defense coming in clutch as we see our punter back on the field. Cole Soderquist back in Round Valley Elk territory. Punt is up. That's a good punt. It's going to have a bounce in their direction over the top of his head. Soderquist not going to make an attempt on it on about the 29-yard line. Yes. Elks have just over four minutes. We are still blowing up the emojis. There is some crazy love for Round Valley Unified School District right now. Let's scroll it on down, see what our new comments are right now. Erica Slade, I love doing it. I'm glad that I can do it, and it wouldn't be possible without the people that sponsored the live stream tonight, helping us out, helping us get here, helping us cover the things that we got to do to make this thing happen. So a huge thanks to all of our sponsors, Mr. Dan Muth. we got Trail Riders, Jody and Melissa, great people. We're going to keep shouting out. We love Tracy and Holly at Goobs. We love the Averys at Averys. Kaysen Wolf's going to hang on to it. He's going to get caught up on the right side. Gain of nothing on the play. Second and ten. Pacheco in, in there on the stop. Amy Bell. Amy, are you with us here tonight? I would imagine so. If not, thanks for joining us on the live stream for making a comment right now. Amy Bell, also Round Valley staff. Doing her thing in the high tech center, at least the last time I knew. Yes, she does. Yes, she is. She Eagle. takes care of those students and computers down there. I am also kind of biased to the computer lab, if I'm completely honest. Case and Wolf from the shotgun. Second and ten, three and a half minutes left. Round Valley really needed another six on the board to pad that lead as they go in to There's half Wolf. time. Nice opening on that left side. The offense line did their job there. Good for about six or seven. It's going to be about third and three. For the Elks case and Wolf hanging on to it. We can see the water on the field playing more than I thought it would, to be completely honest. They must have gotten more rain than we did on the way over here. Yeah, I was very surprised on the way down. I expected it to rain on us all the way. Mr. Steve Udall, thanks for joining us on the live stream. Third and four. See if we can convert this third down. Keep the chains moving. 
Round Valley from the shotgun, third and four. We need to see him get a first down right here to continue this drive forward. Oh, oh. there we go. Threw him off sides. Nice count there. You think Round Valley was going purposely on a hard count for that? You want it. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. That's not a word, is it? I think it is. I don't know. You're the teacher. <laughs> you tell me. I'm a math teacher. Okay, that makes sense then. I'm not going to hold you accountable for that. Miss Green. Miss Green, I hope that you... Um, I hope that you're on here so you can correct us right now. Got Grammarly running. Okay. First and ten. Push to the right side. Chess. Chess. Oh, oh, Chess. Oh, the ground. Oh, Marinci's going to recover. Oh, the ball's still loose. marinci has got it, though. I believe Marinci recovers on about the 44-yard line. It's unfortunate. DK Workman, I appreciate your feedback. I really do. I really do enjoy getting to do this. It's a great opportunity to actually have a Friday off, and Stephen was willing to come up here so we could do this. I was coming anyways. Don't tell my wife, but I was coming anyways. Garcia got recovered that. I feel a little less special now. I'm not going to lie. Mr. Tim Nickel, again, I appreciate the feedback. Love it, love it. For anybody that is interested, if you have a local business, we are looking for sponsorships as we do these live streams. It helps us pay the bills. It helps us come to you so we can bring you some Elk Sports. Here we go, first and ten for Mercy. Pitch off to the right side Pacheco. to Pacheco. He's got room. There's nobody out nice. there on the right side. Picked up by who is that, Kaysen? I'm sure that was Kaysen. Kaysen Wolf picking it up. Holding it back because there wasn't really much going on the right side. No, he came downhill and stopped it. But if he, they get past him, he's still running. 2-0, oh, 2-0, oh, oh, the clock's running. So two, two minutes left in the half. I was trying to adjust the second as I was saying it, and that didn't work very well. Two minutes left. Janelle's watching, by the way. They know. DK, I can't beatbox because then Facebook will take it down for copyright. No, I only say that because I've had way too many Facebook Live videos go down because I have music going in the background. Pitch to the left side. He's going to toss it. The pressure. Pick. Oh, oh! Bevel. Oh, Bevel. Picking it off. Bevel. Good pressure in the backfield. That was Pacheco that threw that pass. That was not their normal quarterback. The fact that he dropped the ball just saved the ears of everybody watching on the live screen because I don't know if I was going to scream or yell or what, but it wasn't going to be pretty. Great job on Newby getting pressure on the quarterback there. Timeout for the Elks. They ran the what's called the Wildcat, snapped it directly to the running back, but he's the one that tried to throw it. And he's down. This is their key guy. Pacheco's down on the field. This is a game-changing situation. Now, it looks like he's coming up. Well, he's thinking about it. You know, I love I love the just the touch of respect that you see as you see both teams take a knee for the player that's down. It's just, I don't know, I just appreciate it. It's one of the little subtleties that I really like to see in a football game. It shows a nice program by both of the coaches. So, Coach Howard, Coach Bell, thank you for, for teaching your kids some good things. Oh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, I heard that comment, Stephen Hart. You may or may not be in trouble when you get home. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've got some new people on the live stream. Marinci fans, Elks fans alike, if you do me a favor, smash that share button. We want to get even more people on this stream. moving well. I think you might have just had a cramp by how they were working on him. Ladies and gentlemen, smash that thumbs up button right now for Pacheco as he comes off the field. Pacheco has to take at least one play off. When you exit, when you have an injury, correct? He's got to take at least one yes. play out. We'll see what Marinci does with this. Third and ten opportunity. Right now, this could be a turning play if Elks can take advantage of this. Elks defense has been extremely solid here in the first half of play in Marinci. Yep. Elks fans, Marinci fans, you guys are amazing. We love the response on the live stream, and we appreciate the response of you watching the games. We bring you Elk football here in Marinci. Under center again. Gave it to the first man through, 24. Nice shoestring tackle there by Kaysen Wolf. Kaysen Wolf playing both sides hard. It's going to be good for about six or seven yards. Fourth Time out round valley trying to preserve the clock, maybe get another decent possession in. Going to be about fourth and four. Kaysen is just fun to watch. He's wiry. He's good on both sides of the ball. You just hope that it doesn't tire him out playing so hard on both sides of the ball. Amy Bell stayed home so she could listen to us watching the game. I see those smashes right there 
on the thumbs up button. Yeah, we're glad he's okay too, Sharon. You don't ever want to wish an injury on anybody, either team. But once again, we, we really love and appreciate the first responders. I'm sure we've got an ambulance here this evening from Marinci here to take care of the kids. In fact, I just saw it pulling up as he went down. There's the ambulance is pulling around the field. It's very apropos. Yeah. It's very nice. Josh Anderson, Mr. Josh Anderson from St. John's, Arizona. How are you doing, sir? Josh, we have a great idea for the fair, and I forget what it was. I may have to talk to you about it later. 28 back, back deep to punt. I'm not seeing his number on the roster. 10 to receive. LJ Foster deep to receive for the Elks. We got 12 out left looking for the the off situation. It's going to roll, man. Down to the five. five. All right, Elks fans, what I want to hear right now or what I want to see right now is you smash. I don't even know which one. Whichever one you want because the Elks have 113 left to score. Smash it if you think the Elks can put six on the board before halftime. No, do you think they should try it or should just take knee back deep, not risk a turnover back deep in we are, Valley territory? We are well deep in. You you make a really good point. And I think I've seen the Elks actually play way more conservatively this close to halftime. We've seen Marcus have Case and Neal on the ball and just get into half and then change things up. Um, Marinci will get the ball in the third quarter, though. Yes, they will. Let's see what he does. He's from the shotgun. Not a telltale sign of a Neal. We're going to pass. Ball's up. Here we go, LJ. Oh, oh, just a little bit long to Foster. He had two steps on him. Yeah, LJ Foster had two steps on him. Just unable to get it. So we're going to keep that clock. Incomplete pass keeps the clock where we want it. Minute nine left in the half. Elks leading by seven. Two to nine. Very low-scoring ball game here in Marinci. Ooh, a little bit of wind. You can feel that chill. Case and Wolf standing on the end zone. He's in the end zone. Man, it just Going gives me the again. shivers. Intended receiver once again is Foster. LJ Foster. They've seen something. Foster can beat this uh, D DB on this side, this Carlos. Carlos Bay. What's Bray. the number? Carlos Bray, number three. Number three. Carlos Bray Jr., 5'6", 130. 130. I think I weighed 130 in fifth grade. Not going to lie. We've only taken four, nine seconds off the clock. That's the downside here. Ooh, quick pass. Oh, through Foster's hands. We needed those 10 yards. Yep. So a little bit of deja vu, Stephen. We find ourselves going to be punting from the end zone. Yes. What do you think is going through the punter's mind right now? I better catch this snap, you know. But I think I think you're right. He's probably there's a little mental game going on here. You know, how's he? How? I can't do the, do it again. I've got to keep hold of the punt. You can't psych yourself out though. Yeah. He's got to get over that, and he only has like 10 seconds to do it. Yeah. All right, deep. He's almost out of play. There he goes. Nice snap. Nice catch. Punt is up. We're going to get it to about midfield. Clock is running. Less than a minute to play. Bounce is oh. going to be in Marinci's favor, though. 35-yard line. Marinci's got 35 yards and 52 seconds. Let's see what they decide to do with it. Hey, do you think they'll kneel on it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Reed, you're correct. We got crazy amounts of people on the live stream, and that's why I keep giving you guys the love to share. Share it out. Make some comments. Let people know that you're watching Round Valley Oaks football brought to you by Avery's. The other question, though, seriously, is do you think they'll uh, try to pass? They haven't shown much success. We've been in the backfield every time they drop back. Had a couple of passes go through our defenders' hands. Do you try to do it to, to throw everybody off? Do you think this is a, is a time that they could get us off of our game? We're heavy to the left side. Oh, jumbled up in the yeah. middle. Nothing happened in there. Clock's going to run, though. Option gave it to the first man through. Do we have any t any timeouts on Marinci's side? We I, do. Yeah, I think they're going to let it run out. They don't look like they're in a big hurry here to uh, get reset. Maybe one or two more plays. Probably one more play. We'll see when they get up on it. Half a minute left here until halftime. Round Valley currently leading 9-2. to two. I almost said here in the dome. I stopped myself, but then I figured I'd go ahead and say it anyway. 
One, probably the last play of the game, less than 20 seconds left, 17-16 in half. Sorry. <laughs> We're all jumbled in up into the middle. Hand off up the middle. Number five wrapped up hard. Guess who? I have no idea. Hogle. Hogle. I want to go give him a hogle. Timeout. That's bad. It's a but hug. <laughs> it's like a pig in a blanket hug. It's a hogle. No, Amanda. Amanda, are you still watching the live stream? What was it? Okay, so on our last on our last Ragnar that Amanda and I went on, um, she bought a thing, and I think it's called a huggle, and it's a hoodie that's, like, down to your ankles. But it's, like, hooded and everything. It's fleece on the inside. I think it's called a huggle. Oh, wow. Hey, it looks like Round Valley might, may have called timeout. Somebody did. Five seconds left in the half. I don't know. They have more timeouts than they did before. I said down. They don't have timeouts on their board. Okay, and I'm blind anyway. Five seconds left on the clock. A timeout has been called. Yeah, according to the um, we have four timeouts. Yeah, I don't think four. I don't think that's how football works. All right, ladies and gentlemen, five seconds left. I do know that's how that works before halftime. I expect a Hail Mary. I think they're going to go for it. With five seconds left, you boot it, right? I mean, you go for the 50-yard field goal attempt, but they're going to try to score. They've got receivers out on the left and the right. The He's going to hand counter, it off up the middle. Had the counter going. That ladies and gentlemen. Work. That's halftime. We've made it to halftime here in Marinci, Arizona. Round Valley currently leading 9-2. to two. It's halftime. You know, if it's Round Valley, you kick the 50-yard field goal. Well, uh, that's because you got communis. communis. Yeah, they don't have communis. When you got Sergio, you go for it. Me and this? See. Si. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're that's at halftime right now. That's the Spanish, by the way. We may or may not have a surprise for you. I'm going to see right now. I talked to some of the Elks staff to see if they could come over and give us a chat about how the first half went. We're going to see if we get anybody over here. Give us just a second. While we do that, take a gander at our fabulous sponsors. Goobs, all the people that are in the house with Goobs right now, throw me some comments, throw me some love. We're glad you're with us. Thatcher, 27-0, currently beating St. John's. Where are we playing tonight? Is Thatcher in Thatcher or in St. John's? Thatcher's winning either way, wherever they're at. We're Kung Fu fighting in Marinci here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Mr. Will Mortensen, how you doing, sir? Wilford Mortensen. We're getting some love in the comments. Courtney Bell, thanks for sharing out our video. Once again, we are live. I'm Wesley McBride here with Stephen Pena. Mr. Daniel Pena working the camera for us tonight. He's working for food. And a lot of food. It, it was worth it then because he got himself some food. I see 27-6 oh, in St. John's. So Thatcher playing in St. John's, 27-6. Thank you, Abby Walker. Thanks for watching the live stream with us. So do you think... Thatcher will just rent hotel rooms and stay up on the mountain all week and preparing for the place so they can acclimate to the, the elevation. Ele ele elevation. The whole week off of school. marinci has got a marching band. they got some people out in force. There's got to be 25 people out there. Maybe not, but okay. No, there's about 25 people, maybe 20. Ladies and gentlemen, now's your chance right now. Call Goob's Pizza. 928-333-1502 or no that's their main number 1502 928-333-1502 call Goob's Pizza right now you want some Tracy Fries a cauliflower pizza and check this out did you know that they will bake your wings you can get baked wings so it's healthier oh that may help me get my wife at Goob's a little bit more often 
So we do the we do the baked barbecue wings. We just tried the cauliflower pizza last night, actually. So go check out Tracy and Holly. Give them a high five and a hug. They support our youth. They're big supporters of Brown Valley Little League Baseball. They they really enjoy being in our community. Seven years that Goobs has been in Round Valley. They're big supporters of, of the schools. I love what they do with the elementary student school of the month. down there. Yeah. yeah. I've St- taken my family down there on student month certificates more than once and spent more money than I ever planned on once I got there. So, Grandma Ziegler! Grandma Ziegler's on the live stream. How you doing? You know you can't escape me. Joyce Ziegler, one of my favorite people right there. She gives me a big hug every time I see her. Uh, yes. I think that's her handshake, if yes. I'm completely honest. Yeah. Katie Hunt got herself some goobs. You can get it delivered. You can watch this game in your PJs and get it delivered. Or go down to goobs because they got the game live. We got some Seven Nation Army going with the Pat Band right now. I'm digging this. Like me some white stripes. Corky Silva and Kayla Dillon getting on the live stream. Anybody new right now, please. Hey, Corky, that's my cousin. How's Colorado treating you, man? Corky's watching from Colorado. Make sure you smash that share button for us. Let your family know that you're watching the game. All the love to our sponsors, guys. We really appreciate the love and the help. I'm humbled by the support that we've received to come down and do this. This is something that I really love to do and really enjoy doing. High school football is a passion of Stevens, and so... The fact that you would help us bring this to you, please go, please go love these sponsors. Give them some love. Amber Baca, what's going on? Amber Baca joining the live stream. We were hoping your husband would come talk to us at halftime, but I guess he had coaching to do instead. Well, no, when I told him, I gave him the disclaimer. I'm like, guys, if the game's close, if you don't feel comfortable, go be with the team because that's where we need you to. So maybe we'll get somebody. We'll see. We got a few minutes here. We'll see what we can do. We'll try to get somebody from the Round Valley staff on the live stream. No promises. I need a shout out to those wives, you know. Hear the word of football wife. The wives of these coaches, they don't see their husbands very much during the season and during the off season and during the summer. You know, these coaches are committed. And these wives don't get to see them a lot. And so shout out to you football wives for supporting the school, supporting the program. We're live on Facebook is what we're doing. You're going to share it out to Facebook.com. Let's go Elks is what you're going to do. we got both sides. Marinci, Round Valley of Light. Get on there. Tell your family. Ladies and gentlemen, we may not have Robert Hawes, but I got another small treat for you tonight. Sir, so I have the principal of Marinci High School with us tonight. Sir, what's your name? Tell us a little bit about your program here. Well, uh, my name is Brian Bowling. I'm uh, the proud principal of Marinci High School. Uh, what a great night. Good high school football. It's Tula. been great weather. A little bit of rain. How much rain did you guys get? Because the, the field seems a little wet. It rained all day long, right up until about two hours before the game, and then it stopped for us. Seems that your team has adjusted well to it, though. I'm sure you practice in it. You're accustomed to it. It seems like Round Valley struggled just a little bit with the wet field, the wet ball situation going on. Well, you know, uh, it's not as cold here in Marinci as it is in Round Valley, but uh, I don't know. I, 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 uh, I see a good high school football game, a couple of teams uh, really getting after it. You know what I really appreciate seeing in a high school football game is we haven't seen very many flags on the play. It's been really clean, really good football, and I think that's really attributed to the coaching that is given to both teams. They're playing good, clean football. We're having a good game. The clock's been running most of the time, so so kudos to you and your staff. This is fantastic. Well, thank you, uh, and uh, both teams. Uh, both teams are ranked very high, uh, doing very well this year. Uh, and so, hey, let's see what happens in the second half. Hey, appreciate your time, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, guys, seven minutes, 23 seconds left 
of halftime, and we'll be back with some Round Valley Elks football. I'm Wesley McBride alongside Stephen Pena. Lots of smashes of that heart right there. You're getting some love, sir. They were smashing that heart for you. Mr. Bowen, Morenci's high school principal. About 10 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. We should be back with some more Round Valley Oaks football here on Let's Go Elks. I am Wesley McBride. You can find me on most social media at Wes McBee. Give me a like. Stay up to date on all things Round Valley. Give our page a like, Round Valley, or excuse me, Facebook.com forward slash Let's Go. Yes, sir. That, that was Tracy and Holly at Goob's Pizza, one of our sponsors tonight. They got the game going live on four screens, four of their TVs. Got Round Valley Oaks football up live. They're making pizzas, giving away free drinks for anybody that wants to get them some Goob's Pizza.
Sydney Oaks fans are making their way back onto the field. If you're on the live stream, show them some love. Hit those emojis and blow them up. Tell your friends and family to get back on the couch. Or order some more goobs, one or the other. Once again, a big thanks to all the other sponsors that do have tonight. Avery's, they've got a little bit of everything for you out there at Avery's. Farmers Insurance, Mr. Troy Merrill, huge Elks fan, huge supporter of athletics here in the Round Valley area. Thank you, Mr. Merrill. I am Wesley McBride. As you may or may not know, I do a little bit of DJing myself. Give me a call. Local businesses, family, sponsors, if you want to give a shout-out, if you want to be part of the Let's Go Elks live streams, send me a message on Facebook. We'll see what we can do about live streaming your next event or making you part of our next event. Reminder, I'm trying to keep games up to date on Max Preps uh, as well. Do that every week. And games that we're not uh, live streaming, you can follow up Max Preps. Look up Round Valley and you'll find the uh, Max Prep stats and game narrative there. Fireworks in the house here in Marinci as the Wildcats come back out onto the field. All right, ladies and gentlemen, jump on your Facebook streams. Let people know the third quarter is about to begin. Everybody that's currently on the live stream, get everybody back here as we have a second half of football ready for you. This is kind of intense. I just realized it's a seven-point ball game. It's a one-touchdown ball game right now here in Marinci. One-touchdown game, and, you know, Marinci gets the ball to start the second half. That first five minutes, you know, tells a lot uh, how the ga game is going to go, the first five minutes of a half, and we got to come out and shut them down defensively like we have the whole first half. What is your favorite thing to eat at Trail Riders besides their chips and salsa? I like their sirloin round steak with uh, sauteed mushrooms and onions that is very very good little known so I, I don't know if it's a secret or anything but my wife orders the kids steak because she likes a little bit of steak not the whole crazy thing she's not she's not as daring as I am but she can get the kids steak she gets her salad steak she's good to go I'll tell you a secret don't tell anybody but get the chicken fried steak mm -hmm. and instead of white gravy put green chili on it and they'll do this for you. you they just will ask. do this for you. Yes, they will substitute the green chili sauce instead of white uh, instead of the white gravy. Green chili chicken fried steak is what we're and doing. And it is unbelievable. My wife gets that almost every time we go. My personal favorite, the thing that I order, and any of the trail riders waitresses can tell you right now what I order. It's a grilled buffalo chicken chef salad with ranch, and they have a wrap that's almost identical, just with more carbs. But I do the chef salad, buffalo style, grilled with ranch dressing. You don't want to miss that. That sounds really good. Oh, we got an LJ Foster fan in the house. Robin watching from Utah. How are you doing, Robin? We're glad you're with us as we get ready to start the second half. Robin, do me a favor. Smash that share button. Let the people in your area, on your stream, all your friends know that we're watching high school football. Here in Marincy, Arizona, I'm Wesley McBride alongside Mr. Stephen Pena. We're to give you here. We're here to give you a little bit of goodness of some Friday night lights. Linda, Kate, Linda agrees with you. The green chili chicken fried steak is the best with like five exclamation marks. Sharon, that's what we do though. Sharon, the sponsors gave us some love to get us here. It's not our fault they're restaurants. I mean. If you know me at all, you know where I frequent the most. It's the restaurant. So, all right. LJ's mom. LJ's mom. We love LJ. I'm just telling you right now. Hang on. I got to push a button. Here we go. We're back to the action. Welcome to second half. Marinci's going to pick it up. It's going to bounce in Round Valley's favor all the way. And we're in the end zone. We're going to start on the 20 yard line. Touchback. Pacheco batted it into the end zone on accident. That could have been dangerous for Marinci. Touch back. We're going to start on the 20. Sorry, I'm eating a burrito right now. So, No, that is completely all right. I forgot to eat dinner. I'll eat it on the way home. 
We should have stopped and grabbed some goobs on the way out of town. We could have eaten it on the way home. Nothing better than cold pizza. Next time. All right, first and 10 from the 20. Nice back tuck right there by a, round, by a Marinci Wildcat cheerleader. Under center. Marinci with it. Rolling to the right side yeah. with time. Pass is complete. Oh, fighting for it over there. Looks like Marinci did finally bring it down. So right at the end of the, of the first half, you made the comment, do you think they're going to pass it? Because they haven't been passing all game. And here we see them first play of the second half throwing the ball. They haven't had any success running the ball, so they've got to open up the field a little bit, uh, get the linebackers off the line of scrimmage a little bit more. You know, they, they have to. You know, we, we're, we've got nine guys in the box right now. So, Do you think that's what their adjustment was at halftime? Could you hear the coaches saying, hey, we got to get the ball, we got to get it in the air? We'll have to see. But that first play, that's what it looked like. Beth Ramirez, who are you cheering for? Obviously the Wildcats. But who do you got on the field that you're cheering for tonight? We're glad to have, we're proud to have both Wildcat and Elks fans on the live stream with us tonight. Once again, quarterback under center, hands off right up the middle. Pacheco. Who was Pacheco brought down by? Is that 58? 58. There we go. There we go. That is Finch, isn't it? Dustin Finch. You say the word Finch, especially Dustin Finch. I know I at least see Alexa and Jake go crazy but then you hear half of the rest of the Dome go crazy. And so if you're a Finch or related to a Finch and you got the comments right now on the Facebook live stream, show me. Show me that you're watching Mr. Dustin Finch, number 58, who brought that tackle down. It's third and one. See if, see if defense step up and shut him down here. As they did the, the entire quarterback first sneak. quarter. Quarterback sneak. They're going to mark it for a first down, removing the chains. That's only, I think, only about the second first down of the game for Marenzi. Dechelle, I am, my family is originally from the Duncan area. The McBrides are from the Duncan area. I hail from Round Valley, grew up in Round Valley, moved back to Round Valley. Proud Elk fan, love working there, love the community. It's a good place to be. Mr. Terry Young, welcome to the line string. First and ten about the 30-yard line. First and ten. Oh, like movement. Yeah, Flags movement on the, on the right side for... Rancy should be first and 15. You know, so I was talking to the principal about it a little bit, but one thing that I really have appreciated to see is the lack of flags that we've had. Shows discipline, and it shows clean football on both sides of the field, so props to the coaches. And the game moves along quicker, you know. When you get flag every other play, the game kind of drags, kind of slows the thing, things down. It's not fun to watch, you know. We got Ramsey and Kylie Finch. They chimed in. There's some Finches watching the live stream right now. Robert Ray with a wave. Harrington up the middle. Harrington did not go with very it. far. Looks like a loss of yards. Well, I guess it's a gain considering where they were at. It was second and 15, so yeah. it's going to be it's going to be third and about 13, I think. Yeah. Mr. Jose. It'll be second and 13 because that was first and 15 because of the penalty. He was just really on top of changing the down marker. Yeah. I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, he flipped it quick. Pam Finch-White, another Finch in the house. Bonnie Cara, how you doing, Bonnie? Mr. Jose Morales. Jose, I might need some help understanding the mentality of a bullfighter. I need you to send me some Facebook messages on what I need to do to channel my inner bullfighter. And I did watch Nacho Libre last night. Not that he's a bullfighter. He's a luchador, but it's kind of the same thing. Illegal procedure on Marenzi going to back him up again. David, I appreciate that. That's how much I've been into the game so far is I did not change. I did not change what quarter it was. So thank you, sir. I'm going to go do that right now. It yeah. is now third quarter. Let's save that and have that update. <laughs> Hopefully it will update. We'll see. It may or may not update. There we go. It's changing now. Brings up about second and 17 here. It's not an enviable position to be in. The defensive line can kind of drop their ears back and go after the quarterback, you know, anticipating a pass. Take advantage. I'm sure you didn't like it as a center when it was this situation. Another flag on the play.
illegal procedure again. Man, traveling against Marinci. Too many men on the in the backfield. Really? Yes, I saw the side judge, head linesman over here, signal six men on the line. So, It's not what you want to see to start your second half of play. You want to come out strong. You want to come out ready, screaming, get the crowd involved. And we've just had lots of flags. It's been a not. I just, sorry, I had to stop talking. I was listening to the pet band. I love the pet band. Renzi's doing a great job. Second, about 22. Yes. Pitched out right. It's going to be good for about three yards of Pacheco carry. Tonight's referees, for your guys' information, Brian Avila, Carl Cruz, Robert Gomez, Philip Villava, and Nick Dominguez. Sorry we didn't announce that before the game started, but those are your officials for tonight here in Marinci, Arizona. Christine, that was for you. Once again, a big, huge shout-out. We appreciate the community that's behind Round Valley Oaks football on the live stream tonight. It's great to see you guys come out in numbers. Steven and I really appreciate the support. Is that another time? Timeout. No, this is timeout. I didn't see it. for Holbrook. Or for, for Holbrook? Marinci. Holbrook, where'd that come from? You do see the two big M's. <laughs> One of them is lit up over there. You know, last. Uh, Daniel, show show the big M that er, that we've been able to see all night, and yet we're in we're in Holbrook, maybe. Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. You know, the last game I announced for soccer was a Holbrook. It was know? a Holbrook. You know, so maybe that latent memory came back to me. I don't know. You guys, you guys are so fantastic. We just ticked. 160 people, and I have not announced how many people ever because I just am so humbled by your guys' support and love for Oaks football that I didn't want to say it. But let's get it out there. You keep sharing it. You keep sharing the love. Let's see that number grow for Elks football. Robert Ray, you got it. Doing it because I love to do it. All right, Daniel, back to the action. Enough of that red M. Third down, right? Third Third and 17. Somewhere in that area. Oh. Third one come. Come. Cats. He's back. Oh. 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 The pass. Nice play Incomplete. by oh. Dustin uh, Finch getting up and knocking that screen pass down. That was a nice call. Finch Just fans. Executed. Finch fans on the stream. Number 58, Dustin Finch. You know, that was a good call by the coaches. You know, they knew Round Valley was going to be coming after him, expecting to pass. You know, it just didn't get executed. Great job by the defense shutting it down. But that could have been a big play if Dustin Finch would have knocked it down. Dustin Finch. All right, Round Valley fans, right now we got a punt returner right at midfield. This Soderquist. is a good opportunity for Round Valley oh, to pick this bad right, right at him. Soderquist gets it, slips. So, Stephen, again, I was talking to the principal about this. I think Marinci is more well adjusted to the wet field. Round Valley has continued to struggle with a wet ball, wet field, especially in the middle. Look at the color differentiation. Yeah. You know, and it's a different uh, type of grass than we're used to, even up on the mountain when we do play outside. It's got that rye, you have that Bermuda grass they get down here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't grip quite the same. Do we have Alexa Finch, the FFA teacher of the high school on the live stream? Alexa, could you speak to us? about the grass and the differentiation that we're going to see as Dustin <laughs> plays on this different kind of grass here in Marinci, Arizona. Wolf back again. Wolf in the shot. Oh, faked it to – there he goes. Case Wolf is Wolf. gone. First down. He nice cut down. back. Touchdown. Touchdown. 47 yards on the keeper by Wolf. He, he fooled me out of my pants. I was looking at the running back. I had no idea he had it until the guy stopped moving. Yeah, you know, you know as big a half as they were going had in the first half, you know, Renzi is saying, we've got to shut down 44, got to shut down 44. Boom. Fake the give and pull it up for 47 yards. You know what Miley Cyrus would say about that? Can't stop, won't stop. Miley Cyrus reference, really? I Yep. I got called out on it the first time I said it at a football game. Sergio Comunes up. Looks like it is. Through the middle. Elks fans, whether you're at Goobs, whether you're at Trail Riders, whether you're at your home in your pajamas, on your feet for the fight song. We needed that, you know, to come out and 
hit him in the mouth first play. That was huge. But that's exactly what I was saying. That's what Marinci needed to do. That's what you need to see your team come out crazy, energetic, and come at it. And Round Valley fumbled that opportunity, and Round Valley took clean, clean advantage of that. Cole Soderquist with a great punt return. Case and Wolf faking me out of my pants and then faking the backfield out of their pants for a 47-yard touchdown. Yeah. Great Elks offense. Nice cutback he made in the middle of the field, turned that defense back around. You know, the first five minutes, what do we say? You know, the importance of it. Renzi didn't d take care of things. We're up 16-2. to two. Oh, yeah, guys, this should be said. All day tomorrow, there is 12 youth football games in the Dome tomorrow. 12 football games as minor football ends their their season. Little jumble there. Round all, or Renzi picks it up on the 15, oh, headed hit. to the middle. Round Valley player is down, but he did get up. Looks like he got hit a little hard. That'd be Pacheco on the return. Maritzi's going to start things off on about the 30-yard line, I think. Yeah, right at the 30. Okay. Matt Finch. Talking about quarterbacks. Wait, we weren't talking about quarterbacks. Matt Finch was my quarterback. I snapped him the ball for six years. You guys got to know each other well. We're a very close relationship. It really was. And like I said, it was all under center. We didn't do the shotgun back then. No, Matt? That's been a while, Matt. We're getting old. Hand off to the man up the middle on the left side. Just pushing it on back. Christine, they, they are adjusting to the field, but yet I keep thinking that they're on top of it, and then we see a fumble of the ball. We see them slip up a little bit. We've seen Kaysen slip a couple times on the on the grass, and so hopefully we do see the Elks find those slick spots and stay away from Zim. It's mainly right in towards the middle of the field, down towards the ends. You can see where it's brown, right? Yeah. Looks like they added some sand on some spots today, those uh, yellow spots. All right, Marinci under center. Taking some Player steps back. back. Pressure. Hernandez. Oh, ho, ho. Alex Martinez Hernandez, the defender on that. Attended receiver number five, Mark Royball. Some good defense right there. Yeah, good pressure on the quarterback. He didn't have time to really set his feet. Alex Martinez Hernandez, senior for the Round Valley Elks. I'm going to be sad not to announce that name after this season. That's one of the fun ones to announce. You know, you can tell the guys that are coming in game game fresh right now from Round Valley because mm -hmm. their jerseys are really, really white. They're still white. Yeah, number 76 for Round Valley is in for the, uh, for now. And we got a look. 76, J.P. McCall. J.P. JP. JP. That's a big boy right there. Oh, handoff. There we go. He had a hole. And but he's going to find himself down on 30. Uh, that would be number 62 making tackle. And who, who would that be? I think Hogle. Hogle. Everybody needs a hogle. Dustin Finch coming back in for Round Valley. That's right, Lisa, your boy JP on the field. He just stepped out for the punt return team. Roy Ball was just on a play, Alfred. We're glad you're watching, and thanks for watching the Round Valley live stream with us. Punts uh -huh. up in the air. It's Bobble. Oh, oh, nice job there. Ball still so squirting around. I think he, I think Round Valley was able to get back on it. So that was some smart football. I hope you guys could see it out on the live stream. He kicked it, bobbled it, and dove for it. Like he didn't think about it. He yep. just got on top of that ball. Yeah, good reaction there. You know, saved a bad play. Sodaquest has lived and breathed football from since kindergarten. He played. He started in kindergarten. Here he is, eight years later, ten years later, eleven years later, something like that. So we got cut off a little bit earlier in the Round Valley offense is starting all day football in the dome tomorrow. Soccer AYSO finals as well tomorrow at the elementary school field. Case and Wolf, quick pass to the middle. Oh, oh. Ball is intended for L.J. Foster. Correct? Is that ten? Yes. I thought he had it. I thought he had it long enough that it was a possession. Apparently not. Passes. Little juggle. Yeah. 
Dan Muth commenting on the live stream. Dan Muth, we appreciate you, sir. We appreciate your sponsorship, your love of the game, and your love of Round by Athletics. Ladies and gentlemen, if you need some surveying done, make sure you call Mr. Dan Muth, dmjmpls.com. Kingston Wolf's going to hand off up the middle to it. Irigoyen. Irigoyen's jersey is not gone. white all day. Touchdown, Mark Irigoyen. 54 yards for Irigoyen right up the middle over the right side. Number 4-4. Four, four. Number 4-4, four, four, Mr. Mark Irigoyen putting six on the board for Round Valley with 4.56 left in the third quarter of play. Elks fans, get it ready. we got us a fight song coming up. Just under five minutes, Erica. We got, oh, excuse me, that was Izzy. I'm sorry. 4.56 left in the third quarter of play. Round Valley currently leading 22-2 to two here in Marinci. A big shout-out to the athletic director and the principal of Marinci High School. They gave us some space. They hooked us up. We really appreciate them helping us be part of the game today. Sergio Comunez's kick is up, and it's good. It Round good. Valley on your feet for the fight song. Look at all that love for the Elks coming on the emojis right now. Blow it up if you're singing the fight song. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, we got my man Stephen Pena commentating the game vocally as well as cellularly on Max Preps. He's your man on the computer for Max Preps. Get you an account, get signed up. Mr. It's Stephen. free. You can just go there. It, it, it gets so CBS owns it now. There's just more and more information on, on Max Preps. It's fantastic. Look at all that love for Round Valley right there. It's blowing up. All right, ball's going to be rolling to about the 20 yard line, picked up on the 15, right in the middle of the field. He's going to juggle. Oh, Pache that's Pacheco. Oh, that was tough. Flag, that looks yep. like probably a face mask yep. or a horse collar coming on that play right there. Yep, that was not unnatural as he came down to the ground. It looked a little bit forced. We're going to see a flag on the play. Will be a personal foul face mask against Round Valley. We're going to move those chains. Yeah, that hurts. 15 yards straight away, that hurts. Yeah, that'll give them a jump. They need to, Marenzi needs to do some, start doing something offensively. This 15-yard penalty could help a little bit. We got a man, Stephen Pena, right there. little selfie. Selfie on selfie action. That doesn't sound good. This is a family show. I better stop. <laughs> I'm trying to add a photo of the scoreboard to my Max Preps feed. So I thought he was take I thought he was taking a selfie, Daniel. And I thought you were getting in on the selfie, but that's not what was happening. All right. Tyler Biggs, one of our first responders, out, police officers. Number 17, about a 15-yard gain there on the pass. Nice pass for Marinci. That is going to move the chains for them. They're going to get a little past midfield. Brooke Holder on the reception. Nice pass, nice reception. Can't take that away. Nicole Garcia, you are welcome. Nicole, where are you watching? Who are you watching? You're listening to me and Stephen Pena here on Let's Go Elks. Again, I think Steven's taking selfies, but he's not. Wait, no, he's still not taking a selfie. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, it's not working. Whatever I'm trying to do, it's not working. Joyce, I am up at the box. Are you at the game? Joyce, where are you? Joyce, I'm waving at you right now. Where are you? If you're at the game, I want to see you. I love me, Grandma Ziegler. Oh, caught in the backfield. Oh, nice job on defense there. Seven, J.P. Six. McCall J.P. stop. J.P.? J.P. McCall, that's your boy right there. Austin Lee Slade watching the stream right now. For anybody new on the stream like Austin, hit that share button right now. Let your friends and family know that we're watching Round Valley Oaks football. Brought to you by your proud Let's Go Elk sponsors. Round Valley to play, or excuse me, Marinci to play Pima next week, and then we play them the following week after we play Thatcher at home. So, Elks fans, it's a pink out on the 19th in Round Valley, and then we'll be on the road for our last game of the regular season against Pima. 
That was a nice play there. Ooh. Shut down on defense again. Nice job by the defensive line. Right up the middle. It's going to be third and right about ten. No, well, let's see where they set the ball down. He's he's doing the ref shuffle. It's going to be right about ten yards, third and ten. Dolly McLean, we're glad to bring this action to you live. We couldn't do it without the fantastic sponsors that are scrolling across the bottom of your screen right now. Right now, Trail Riders and Farmers Insurance being highlighted on the live here right now. Anything third you need insured, go see Mr. Troy Merrill in Eager. Third and 11. See if Alex can stop him here. You know they got to be going Sweet to a pass, pass. play. Oh. That is that is the first time I have seen Marinci slip on the field. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. He slipped, wasn't able to plant his back foot, and that affected the throw. Forced La it down into the ground. Last step. It was his last step back. Like you said, he was going to rock and fire, and he ended up sliding about six inches to a foot, and it made all the difference. Lori, I don't know. What do you got, Steven? I'm sorry. I say Elk's defense steps up and can punt away. Soda push to the backfield? Quest. Yes. Lori, I don't know. We're going to have to take a look at that, and I'm going to have to take a look at my calendar, that being two weeks into the future. Punt is up. It's got right. Oh, he's moving over to it. Oh, man. Looks Flag. like the block in the back right here is going to be called out of bounds at 10. Marinci's special team should get some love and some shout-out. Their punts have been well-placed, rolling the right way. It's really put Round Valley in a sticky situation a number of times. Yeah, we've been inside the 10 numerous times and that's tough that's tough field position dk workman i would completely agree with you troy is the man he is a hell of a man he's a good guy appreciate being part of the community that he is as well mr troy merrill with farmers insurance once again i am just completely digging this pet band i love our pet band too and maybe it's because i'm just closer to him that i'm just eating it up or they just have more drums than ours does. That might be why I'm feeling it. You know, I think after one of these games, we should have an eating contest with the Round Valley coaching staff. Say what? Who do you think could win? Haas. Haas? Don't even have to think about it. You got Brian Bell. Yeah, but that's... Baby Bell? I don't know. You know, you're going to have a sleeper, though. It's going to be somebody you don't even think about. It's going to... Troy. Is it going to sneak? Well, okay. I can see that. All right. If so, the sleeper pick would be Troy. Okay, so Round Valley once again, flag on the play. Yep. Round Valley starting off in the end zone scares me. Yep, in the shotgun position. I mean, Kaysen was lined up on the goal line. Joyce, I never saw your message. Are you watching the game, Joyce? I've got my hands in the air. Are you here? Joyce Ziegler, are you here live with us in Marinci? Mm-hmm. 34-6, to six, Thatcher currently leading the game. The fatty special at Goobs. Okay, okay. So what was the penalty? I missed it. Holding, so half the distance. So now we're about the two-and-a-half-yard line here. Oh, we're starting from the end zone. Yes, Kaysen will catch the ball in the end zone. Oh, he's got him. Hunter Ziegler. Oh. Oh, I, that, I thought there was a little defense holding there. Well, it doesn't there. seem – he seemed like he wanted to accelerate and wasn't able to. Yeah. I saw it. Yeah, that's what – Maybe not, but it, that's what it looked like to me. Yeah, there might not have been a grab. I saw the same thing you. He was la wasn't able to pull away like I expected him well, to. Because I feel like I saw Hunter connect with the ball in the air, and I thought he was going to stride out for it, and he was yeah. still two, two steps behind. So, yeah. See, Candace Davis even agrees that it's Haas. Now, is it a goobs eat off? Where are we eating? Because that factors in too. Is it pulled pork at Avery's? Is it corn on the cob at Avery's? Is it chips and salsa? Because I would win that. I it's don't care. Chips and salsa, Haas isn't going to win. He doesn't like spicy food. Ooh, caliente. Oh, Kaysen Kaysen's going to keep it. Nice tackle by number two, Pacheco, pulled him down. It's going to be about six yards left. Is this fourth down? Yes. I bet we see a punt from the end zone. Again. I would. I. I'm afraid we're going to. Here comes special teams out onto the field right now. Round Valley, when where they're really deep, when they're really deep offensively, they they have had a hard time getting out and getting some first downs. We've seen this. This is the third time we've seen this this yeah. game. We're lining up. Oh, it's third down. I. Uh, you're right. That guy is quick on the flip over there because I thought it was fourth right? down. It's third down. That's what I'm saying. And and so was the and so was the clock. All right, hands up up the middle. Is that air going? Air going. Air going. First Big down. Run. First down. Hold on to first that down. Ball. Mark, you're going first down. We're moving the chains, Elks fans. About a 25-yard gain. 
up to the 34-yard line. Coming in clutch. Again, Mr. Consistency. You give that boy the ball. His jersey isn't white. We're going to need some... We're going to need some color-safe Clorox bleach on that action or something. I don't yeah. even know. I'd hate to be the ones having to wash these white jerseys. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. First and ten. Case and Wolf in the backfield with Irigoyen, it looks like, just by the color of the jersey. There it goes again. Oh, nice job. LJ by... Foster. Was that LJ? I think yes, it was. Yes, that was LJ. Nice job holding on to that ball getting his hands on at that defense back, put his hand in there, and he was able to fight him off and make the reception. So this is the second play that I want to call it out, and I didn't have time when we were near the end zone. But look, Round Valley was able to convert, and we've gotten out of the end zone. But huge props to the Round Valley offensive line. Kaysen had all day to throw that ball to Hunter Ziegler. Even though it wasn't complete, he had all day to make that happen. Again, nice pocket, nice the offensive line taking care yep. of Kaysen Wolf. He was able to step up, put a zip on the pass. Nice job. Kaysen Wolf from the shotgun. He fakes it. There goes hey, Wolf again. Seriously, again, Kaysen Wolf is gone. Fakes he me is out. gone. Fakes me out just as bad. I'm sold by Mark Aragoyne, and Kaysen Wolf's in the end zone with the football. Touchdown, S Round Valley. 60 yards uh, by Wolf for the touchdown. Mm. That's one bad boy right there. I love I love that the live stream is on like a five-second delay because I can look down and watch Kaysen Wolf go into the touchdown that I missed the first time because I'm sitting here watching your going and jog off the field. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> you know, Kim, I, I don't know if I agree with you about the chips and salsa situation, but I, can, I am currently keto, so I, I would have to say that, yes, presently he would beat me in a chips and salsa contest. Round Valley Elks, 52 seconds left in the third quarter play. Get on your feet. It's time for the fight song because Camunez's kick is good. 30 to 2 with 52.6 seconds left in third row play. I'm Wesley McBride with Stephen Pena. Here we are in Marinci. Brown oh, Valley's offensive line has come out and said, We're the man tonight. You know, the second half, they really stepped up. They have dominated the line of scrimmage, both offensively and defensively. I I really think that's why I see it, and I give so much love to it, because that was me. The guys that, that – the linemen sometimes don't get the love that they deserve. I mean, they, they really take care of business, and they're in the trenches the whole time. But those guys are making plays happen for Mr. Case and Wolf. And we don't have a giant on that starting five. You know, they're, they're not no, really big. No, just consistent. They do it right. They, they're, they've been taught well. They good technique. They stay low. They drive people off the ball, keep their feet moving. That's what you got to do. You know what? Okay, hang on. We're going to hold a story here. Daria, I've got a story about you that we're going to say here in just a minute. Picked up on the 10-yard line off to the far side. The oh, 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 yeah. Okay. He got rocked. Hold up. By number seven. That, that Dylan Jordan just laid Who else was in on that? Dylan Jordan and who else? Walking off the field, I think, Is right that there. that Kate Hogle? Kate Hogle, first contact, and the blow driven by. Would not doubt it being a Hogle. So I, I'm coaching a youth soccer team this year, which is going is about as awesome as you can imagine. No. Yeah, I, I love my soccer team. They're great. I just, I never played soccer. And so we, we, have, we have a girl on our team named Daria who we were playing up front because she's just really good with the ball. And in the tournament play, we moved her back as a defender, which really shocked her. But we became a completely different thing because Daria was in the backfield. And it takes everybody. Those people are just as responsible for the points. He's wide open, ladies and gentlemen. Hand off, off the left, left side. side. Oh, oh you see the and... dance? Oh, oh, oh. You see that oh. dance? Bevel told him he wasn't impressed. I think he's still telling him some things right now, if I'm honest. Bevel is a nice, respectful young man. I'm sure he's telling nice runs. Well done, sir. Well that, done. Was, yes. that was a good run. I liked your high stepping, and those are some beautiful cleats. I think that's what he was saying. I think so. Yes. Yes. 33 seconds left in the quarter, ladies and gentlemen. That was their biggest gain of the night right there. I mean, it was worth the high step. He was he was feeling it. I. And sometimes they do that high step trying to uh, throw, off. throw the defender off the step and try to get by him. First and ten for Marinci under center. We're rolling to the right side pressure. with pressure. Oh, oh he's oh, Blair slips line. loose. Brought down in the midfield. Newbie with tackle there. Okay. It's going to be good for about six yards, second and four. Did we interrupt your story? Oh, gain of seven, excuse me. No, basically the story is it takes everybody. 
You know, that's the end of the third quarter play. Round Valley leading 30 to two. Elks fans, are you ready for some fourth quarter football? Here under the Marinci Friday Night Lights. Hey, next week, that game is for number one seed in QA football. It's for the bragging rights to Round Valley Thatcher. Round Valley Thatcher? Yep. Yes, that we we need a big crowd there next week, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a, a pink crowd. out. It's pink a pink out. out. Daniel Pena, I completely agree with you. Linemen need more credit. Lynn Shumway on the stream. First time I've seen Mr. Lynn Shumway on the live stream. Hit that share button for some fourth quarter football. Elks fans, if you've if you've been with us the entire time, give us a shout out in the comments right now. Who's our diehard fans that have been on this live stream, been with this craziness since the get go? I don't care if you're at Goobs or if you're at home on the couch. If you've been with us, let us know. I'm seeing a lot of hearts. All right, fourth quarter football, Second twelve minutes left. Four motion there. Oh, fake. Oh, oh almost got him in the backfield. Passes nice. caught. Nice job, holding. Oh, strip the ball. Ball strip loose. Marker flags going down. Let's see. Round Valley, Valley football. recovers the football. Great job there stripping it as he kept trying to run. Andrew Bingham. How you doing, Andrew Bingham? Hit that share button. Got Mr. Strickland as well. Michael Strickland on the live stream. I haven't seen you guys comment yet. Before that pat, before that fumble, I was about to say that was a nice shot. The quarterback hanging in under pressure. The guy who caught the ball under pressure just did not take care of it. Best offensive drive we've seen Marinci have all night, in my opinion. Yes, by far. It's unfortunate to see a great pass reception like that because by fumble, but that just speaks to Round Valley's defense when their ability to strip the ball. From the shotgun position, Kaysen Wolf with oh, nice all the time he pop. needs. L.J. Foster, L.J. Foster. Oh. Okay, does he have eyes in the back of his head? Did you <laughs> see that? Yeah, he threw his hands up the right time. Like, did, was he looking at LJ and just knew where to put his hands up? Because, like, okay, watch. Watch the replay right here, right here. Look at this, look at this. I don't know how he knew to put his hands in the air. That's your Tata's defense back. Good defense back coach to teach him to watch wow. the eyes. They will open up. They'll, uh, you'll see when they're about, when the ball's about there. And throw your hands up. That is crazy. We're from California. Are you watching, Brandon? I love me some California. Cooper Wolf been watching the entire time. Of course you have. Live all game. Goddard. Yes, you have. Oh, here we go. Run up the middle is going to be a loss of about two or three yards on the play. It's going to be third and 14, I think. As they were going, one of the few plays he's lost yards tonight. Bo Taylor played football with Bo Taylor. <laughs> Advice, throw it to Hunter. He's a beast. I, I don't disagree with you, and I think Grandma Ziegler would also agree. I'll pass that on to Coach Baca upstairs. Yes. They need to throw it to Ziegler. We, we did a poll on the live stream. They decided number three needs the ball. Timeout for round ball. I think that's what they're doing. I think they heard us, and they just called a timeout to say, hey, throw it to Ziegler. Th th this is the power that the Facebook Live comments have. You guys don't understand that, you, that there's a timeout on the play. All right, so timeout. we got 11.28 left in the game here in Marinci, Arizona. Before we get to make us a nice drive home, it's been nice, not lots of penalties, because it helps the game get over just a touch earlier. Because we got soccer in the morning. I've got Little League football. Yeah, yeah. We're in the Dome all day tomorrow. 12 games of football, condensed schedule, six-minute running clock. It's going to be crazy. Every team on the mountain will be there playing games tomorrow. Every level, every team. What's up, Bo? It's been a minute. I can't remember the last time I saw you, actually. I think it's been a few years. We got Hudsonville, Michigan watching right now. That may be the longest from us, and we're back to it. Case and Wolf from the shotgun position. Flag tells us no. The whistle lets us know we're back in the action. Here we go. Case and gets it. Case and with pressure. pressure. Flag on the play. He's moving back. 21 on the tackle. I think. Sorry, we don't give as many names from 
uh, Renzi guys, but it is so hard to read these jerseys. Um, I can see the red on black really great here on the sideline. So yeah. I guess it's just the process of elimination. Yeah. No, it's not any of those. Yeah. No, it's just been tough. All right, fourth and long. Round Valley is looking to punt special teams for both teams coming onto the field. They declined the penalty, so it brought up fourth down. Bevel on his goal line or in the end zone again. Number 13 in the backfield with, I believe that's number five. Number 13, Chris Deck. Number five, Mark Royball. Punt is up. He's a lefty. Yes. Yes, he is. Royball. He's going to pick it up right at midfield. Take Hernandez, it on back. Take it on Hernandez back. Hernandez on, it on the back. first nice job breaking down right Flag. there. Flag late. That's usually a blocking call. Either that or a little ener extra energy dis uh, being yeah. displayed. A little extracurricular. One of Gra those two usually laid on. A nope, block in the back. Grandma Hogle. How you doing, Grandma Hogle? We love your boys, Grandma. Where are you watching from? We got Andra. Are you and Craig watching the game? Mr. Andrew Bingham's back on the live stream. Andy, newly married to a really nice gal. That was the coolest reception I think I've been to in a long time. It was fun. I Just had a good a barbecue. time. barbecue. I was in my jeans. Good food. Mm. Good friends. I got to experience their first sunset on the beach. We took them to, to California to run a race, and it was a really good time. Good people. Good people. You are correct. Nice 45-yard punt by our left footer. Passes up. Oh, oh. he was open. He was You gone. could tell he wanted that. I believe pass intended for number 12, L.T. Mori. No, it's 13. No, it is 13 Deck. again. Chris Deck, Jr., 5'8", 156. Nice ball. Put a little zip on that thing. A little extra mustard. A little zippity-doo-dah. Second. Second and 10 after that incomplete pass. Quarterback being more aggressive in the pass plays, and that's the second time we've seen that coming around the left side. It worked out for him once until they fumbled it, unable to bring it down that time. 10.42 left in the ball game. Got Roybal out left. See if they go to him. Nope. To number two. Pacheco, go back to bread and butter. He hasn't done much tonight, though. He was wrapped up pretty quick, though. It's going to be a gain of about a yard. Yep. He had that one big gain, that last possession. And then, but other than that, he really, we've been able to hold him in check tonight. Wes and Slade, if your stream is not working, hit that refresh button, come out and come back in, and it'll get you back to the live point and get it working again. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are in the fourth quarter play right now, hit me up on social media if you want to be updated on Round Valley Elks athletics all over the place. I am Wesley McBride. Give me a like on Let's Go Elks. You can find Mr. Steven Pena on the Twitter. At RV Sports. RV Sports. You can find me as well. Oh, that seemed a little early to yep, me. A little motion. I think Hernandez uh, squeezing in. He came in like he was going to blitz from that outside, kind of threw that left tackle off. Watch that. Mm-hmm. I think that's what we were seeing. Oh, Pet Band's got me bobbing. Third and 13 for the Wildcats. Expecting pass. Under center. Oh, here gives it up the middle off the right side. Brought down by a whole host of Elks. TJ Eager, fellow ginger, redhead with a beard at one point. Mr. TJ Eager, how you doing tonight on the live stream? We got some Elks football, 920 left in the ballgame as the clock runs. Round Valley currently leading 30 to 2. Amy Bell, 9-11, 9-10, 9-9, 9-08, left in the ball game. I'll do better. Keep it up on time. No, totally cool. All right, what down is it? It's fourth down. Oh, bad Ooh, snap. He still gets the punt off, though. His punts. Oh. What? I don't even. No, no, no. That, they cannot advance that. It stops. Yeah, the, ref, the ref's got it. He did not touch the. No possession. If they really touched it, they will get the ball at the point of the contact. He cannot advance a muffed punt. It has to, they have to gain possession. Ground Valley learned that playing against St. John. And they get the ball. And you would get the ball at that point. 
the app just they talked to us last week. Us. Yeah. Muffed punt call. Ryan Mankus ruled no contact. No contact. So it'll stop. Round Valley first and ten. Yeah, Round Valley will pick it up where uh, Marinci grabbed it. Then, if there was no contact by the receiver, called a muffed punt. Stephen tells me. First and ten for Round Valley. Eight forty-nine left in the ball game here in Marinci. This is when I start thinking about all the stuff I have to pick up once Here's the game's over. Again, up the middle. What tells me he didn't ever touch it because he didn't go after it. Right. I think it went between his arm. Like, I, th yeah. I, I think he never. He threw his hand up and was like, whoa, I, I can't catch that, so I'm letting it go. If he had touched it, he'd have been after it like a loose uh, grounder behind him. So, Joyce, you may have to hit that button to get the sound back, but I guess you can't understand if, if I'm saying that you have no sound because you can't hear me. So get that sound back by hitting that. Somebody in the comments help her out. Un poquito. Case and Wolf from the shotgun. Delayed delayed draw there. Oh. That could have been bad news right yeah, there. Yeah, that was scary. That was scary. Could have had a hit lay on him right there. That wouldn't have been a pretty thing. It's going to be third and five. Is that what I'm saying? Yep. Third and four right there. Third and four right on the 35-yard line. Third and four, so says the man with the microphone that has bigger speakers than I do right now. You know, I guess I beg to differ with myself. The reach that we have, there's a lot of speakers right now of all these awesome Elk fans that are watching this. And Goob's Pizza rocking out with the Round Valley Elks. Flag on the play before the snap. You know, we got the viewers on the screen, but who knows how many are sitting there at Goob's watching this. That's right. We got us a good crowd at Goob's Pizza jamming out. Kind of wish I could be two places at once. Mm. It'd be nice to sit there eating pizza right now watching the game. Listening to yourself talk? Yeah. That's meta. Yeah. I like flash. Or is it narcissistic? I just want to hear myself talk. <laughs> Third and nine for Round Valley after the penalty. Roll out. Screen. With pressure. Screen pass. Ball's up in the air. Flag on the play. I'd anticipate a hold. Yes, headlinesman. Just indicated that holding on Round Valley. I bet they refuse. Oh, they're going to take him back. They're going to ma make us run it again. Okay, I'm sorry. I was on the phone with my son. Did they accept the penalty to climb? The, they did accept they accepted it, right? It, yes. Because we're moving it back. So third repeat 20, third down. Third and 24. Give them another opportunity to throw the ball or decline the penalty, go to fourth down. Interesting call by Murray. I would have made a punt, you know, but maybe they're looking for a block punt touchdown if we don't get this. Well, but again, Round Valley's had a harder time deep in their own territory. So I, yeah. you know, I, I can see where Murray's going with that. Yeah. I think I'd throw it about 40 yards right here. Hunter Ziegler right here. Let's see if that connection happens to number three. Is even on the field. Oh, they give it to Irigoyen. He took a shot. No, Alexi right. came to play. They're laying the wood on on people. You know. But at this point, Eddie Hamblin. Eddie, what's going on? Good to see you on the live stream. Glad you're watching with us. But at this point in the game, where Round Valley's at from a points perspective, with six minutes left on the clock, you go ahead and keep it on the ground, yep. run it, let the clock run, even if it means putting us in a fourth down situation, punting the ball, letting Elk's defense get back on the field and do what they've been doing all game. Yeah, because they have not moved the ball other than two plays all game, so this is probably the right decision. Big shout-out to Round Valley's defense as a whole, really keeping things on lockdown tonight. I think Marenzi is going to be able to make any noise in the playoffs. Again, the lefty. I just love the left-footed punt. Finally, Round Valley gets a little bit of roll in our direction, but then it comes oh, on back. Yeah. It comes right back. All right, 44-yard line. Marinci's going to get it on their own 44-yard line with 524 left in the game, currently trailing by 28 points, 30-2. to 
you know, we're we're controlling this game, but you know, you've got Round Valley and Thatcher in two A. But they're as good as a team other than Phoenix Christian. This is probably the best team I've seen uh, Round Valley played in uh, uh this year, you know. The score's a little lopsided. But these guys are physical, they have some athletes. I think they can make some noise once uh into the November, once November hits. You know. Round Valley's had a couple breakaway plays is where we've seen a lot of their scoring come from. Has yeah. been Case and Wolf breaking away on that faking me out of my pants plays. And Irigoyen. Yep. Yeah, we have not driven on him. You know, we have not. It's, uh, been, it's been big oh, plays. Big hit there again. Who is that right there? That's uh, number. That would be oh, Hogle. Oh, would that be Hogle, number 62? Of course it is. Grandma Hogle, show us some love in the live stream for your boy. Blow up those emojis, Grandma. I know you know how. Blair is going to have nightmares, number 62, for about a week, I think. The numbers are imprinted. Yes, yeah. Can only imagine that's the mine over in the background. Is that is that a fence with the mine? It just looks lovely. It looks like a cruise ship. That is a cool. Looks like a spaceship. <laughs> you know, looks like. Uh, All right, under center. <laughs> we we do have a football game. Yeah. Marinci's under center. Nice pass completed to the right side. Stiff arm to the face to no. 14. Bevel. Number nine on the completion. Number nine with the carry. Tito Casillas, senior, five seven, 160. You got to be careful with that stiff arm in the face. It's almost face mask action right yeah, there. If, yeah, if you grab that face, that could be a penalty. I mean, that's a slippery slope. Palm open. I don't know. That's the ref's call, not mine. Oh, yeah. Daniel getting some shout-outs right now for the filming job. We do appreciate everybody that helps make this happen. We got 447 left in the ball game right now as the clock runs. Man in motion. And the man's going to get it. Pacheco with it, but Pacheco's going to find some of his other players on the ground. Dylan Jordan helped beat on the tackle there. Yeah, i got to give some shout-outs to Daniel here. His hands are cold. He hasn't sat down all game because they took his chair. So he's had to deal with the elements a little bit more than us fat guys have. That's right. Marinci fan of the game. I'm giving it right now to the pet band. I don't know. They've got they've got me going. Second and ten from Marinci. Again under center, hands off to the right side. Is Pacheco that with it. No, that's number three. Oh no. Bray. Tackle by number fifty-five. Number fifty-five, Trevor Wilson. Some of the young guys getting some time. You can tell Wilson just came into the game because that's a bright white it's jersey white. out there. It's pretty white. Number four, Tyler Penny coming into the game. No relation, obviously. Cousin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jaden Cisco, you know it. Big shout out to JV Football. If you're on JV Football, watch us on the live stream. Blow up the emojis oh, right now for Big Marinci yesterday. Big stop there. By Big Boy, was that number 76 yeah, right there? JP. Oh, JP McCall, 76. Yeah. Who else was in on that? And, seven. and number seven. Dylan Jordan, that's number seven. Well, bam. Oh, yeah, the, the, the replay. I could have watched it. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Jennifer Ferris, your boy Trevor Wilson, getting things done on the field. Your nephew. Iris. It's good to see you, Iris on the live stream. I see the emojis blowing up. It looks like we got back the reaction. In, back in punt formation. We've seen more special teams in this game than I think I've seen Ooh. all season. Now watch. It's going to bobble right where it needs to, though, because this punter is crazy. <laughs> no, I'm serious, though. I know, like, yeah. It's like he's got Jedi mind tricks. The, uh, keeping the ball inside the 15-yard line every punt. So when we lived here in Marinci, they actually had a karate. Um, she played karate. She played, I'm sorry. She she had a black belt in karate, and she was the kicker for Marinci High School's football team. Wow. I remember that, and it was like my fourth or fifth grade year when we lived up here before we moved back to, to Round Valley. Oh, yeah, Elks are on fire. Blow it up. Blow up those comments with the fire. 
These elks are on fire. 240 left in the ball game, Round Valley fans and Marinci fans. We thank you for joining us. Both sides as Round Valley leading the game 30 to 2 here in Marinci, Arizona. We wish anybody traveling. I guess nobody on the live stream. I don't know why I'm saying this is going to be traveling because oh. they went on the live stream. Is that Dylan Jordan at quarterback? Dylan Jordan. Or is that? Nope, that's Owen, Owen Young. Young. Owen Number Young. two, Owen Young in at quarterback. Number two, Brandon Strickland. Lighten up the comments on fire. That is Ethan Schroeder going into the game right there. Zach Esparza for Marinci in on the tackle. Who was that? I'm sorry, Schroeder? Ethan Schroeder. He's uh, got to Round Valley late last year, his junior year, coming out for Round Valley. Yeah, yeah. Toby Puzzy giving Daniel some shout outs. Cameraman Daniel. All right, where are we at? Second and 10. Owen Young, hands off, right side. Dylan Jordan. On Dylan carry. Jordan's getting, he's still on his feet. He's getting some yards. Dylan is a tough kid, man. He can run, he runs hard. I think that's good for about five. Again, the clock's going to yeah. run. I think round by a flag on the play. Down to 142 left in the game. 140. Flag. See what the call is. Again, I think Round Valley strategy, keep it on the ground, let it run, let the clock run. Flag on the play. Is it against Marinci? No, it's against Round Valley. Round Valley's moving back. Unsportsmanlike. Don't like seeing that. Unsportsmanlike. Dang it. This late in the game. Lori, we appreciate it. We will get on the road. We may be a little more caffeinated here in a few minutes, but we will get on the road and get home. We appreciate all of your support, Round Valley and Marinci Elks fans. Mar Round Valley Elks fans and Marinci Wildcat fans that have been watching the live stream with us. You guys have been great. You've been consistent. You guys have been blowing up our comments. We love it. Third and 20. I'd love for them to give Owen a shot to throw it here. Get it out here with Tyler Pena. Kid's got some skills. Nope. No, keep it on the ground. Owen Young. Another flag on the play. Things. Things are getting a little excited at this point. Players are a little excited. They're fired up. Game's almost over. Getting in, a lot of them getting in the game for the first time right now. You know, in that oh, this one unsportsmanlike dead ball on Marenzi this time. You know, I wonder if that is what it is. A lot of new players in, at least on the Round Valley side. I wonder if that's kind of changed up the normal vibe that we've had on the field so far tonight. Yeah. It's harder to tell if it's new players from Marenzi because of their jerseys, but I'd guess at this point they're letting some of those – Young guys playing on defense as well. 119 left in the ball game. The clock does begin to run. Third and one. All right, what are we going to do now? I think we're going to run it. Sneak. Owen's going to hang on to it, move the chains. Move the chains, that's going to be it for the ball game. This, this four plays will finish the game tonight. We are going to hand Dylan off. Jordan. Boom! He, Dylan oh. Jordan! Nice run there by Plowing Jordan. Plowing it down. Dylan Jordan. Oh. Lee and Shanna, you know it. We've had a good time doing it. We appreciate you guys watching the live stream with us. It's been really fun. Again, the hearts are just blowing up for the Elks. The clock is under a minute. Elks fans, when that clock empties, if you're watching the live stream, I want to see you explode the emojis like we've never seen before. Fill the comments with Elks love. This should do it right here. Oh. Bring us under 30 seconds. You're going to get wrapped up. Elks fans, last thing what we want to see right now, however you're watching the game, if you're at Goobs, I want you to take a big old selfie with everybody at Goobs. If you're at home, big selfie with the family. Let us know how you watched the game tonight. Steven and I would love to see how you guys interacted with us and watched the game tonight. If you got it on the big screen TV at the house, throw it up there. Send it to me if you would. You can throw it my way. You can post it on Let's Go Elks. But whatever you do, let Steven and I know to tag us in the photo. We want to see how you enjoyed the game. Elks fans, seven seconds. Blow up the emojis in five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, your Round Valley Elks winning tonight 30-2 to in Marinci, Arizona. We are home against Thatcher in pink on the 19th. Steven? Be there big this week. This has been great. I just want to tell Wes, thanks for inviting me, getting me in on this. It's been a great night, great night for Round Valley football. Great job by Daniel over here. Oh, we're going to zoom it out. That was way too close. You're going to scare people, Daniel. All right, really quick. 
I'm Wesley McBride. This is my boy Stephen Pena right here. Been live here in Marinci, Arizona, watching this great game of football. Great weather. We've had a really good time. Stephen, wrap it up for us. Anything else? You hey, share? It's, it's all about next week right now. No, it is. We've we got to come out, play ball. They're big. They're fast. But can they handle the toughness around Valley football? Let's, Let's go, Elks. Let's all go right. Elks. We'll see you next week in Thatcher. In Round Valley. Against Thatcher in Round Valley. It's a pink out. Once again, as everybody starts to fade off of the live stream, ladies and gentlemen, a huge thanks to all of our sponsors that made this game happen one more time. Farmers Insurance, Mr. Troy Merrill, Avery's Barbecue, Watering Hole, Chuck Wagon, RV Park, Gas Station, Trail Riders Restaurant and Bar, Goops Pizza, showing the game live with the free drinks for all the people in the house. And Mr. Dan Muth, professional land surveyor. We couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you to all of our sponsors that helped Let's Go Elks live stream happen this evening. Everybody have a great weekend. Make good choices.